Luxurious Designer Fragrances Part 2. Here we go. Has it, he's the one I'm leaving you for. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some unique smelling designer fragrances that have a niche-like appeal. If you would like to know more about these, you can check out part one over here or in the description box down below. Let's get started, shall we? Kicking off with a true icon, Diorum Original. This is the original fragrance, not the 2020 release. How can you tell the difference? It's written original on the bottle. You can get the original on the Dior website, which I'll link down below, along with all the fragrances in today's video. Diorum is a sexy, masculine, floral woody fragrance. It has a dominant note of iris that is rich, powdery and earthy that is blended with some lavender and woods. There's also a chocolatey like facet brought forward by patchouli which makes this fragrance oh so addictive. It's basically a sexy daddy scent that is multifunctional and great for everyday use. On my skin it lasts around seven to eight hours with moderate projection. Now if the powderiness of the original puts you off and you prefer something a little bit more youthful and sweet then try Diorum Intense. It retains a similar structure but has the addition of pear which adds a playful sweetness. The chocolate like facet is also enhanced in this fragrance so it's richer and more dense than the EDT. And on my skin, it lasts between eight to 10 hours with very good projection. So it is a stronger performer than the EDT. Next up, we have one for the ladies with Narciso for her, the Eau de Toilette, which is the black bottle. Gentlemen, take note, you may want to be getting this for your partner as well. Straight up, Narciso Rodriguez is one of my favorite designer brands. The fragrances are unique, they don't care about trends and kind of do their own thing. They're known for creating fragrances with a hefty dose of musks, mainly in their feminine range, which gives them an airy, soft and cocooning characteristic. Narciso for her, the EDT, is one of my favorites. It's a floral woody musky scent with orange flower buds, some woods and musks. It is womanly, feminine and very sexy. A big confidence booster to be worn either during the day or the night. It is very versatile and on my skin it lasts all day with a really good projection so you'll be able to smell it all throughout the day. Now what about a gentleman's scent? I give you Vetiver by Guerlain. It is a fantastic vetiver dominant fragrance and if you ever wondered what on earth vetiver smells like, put your nose on Guerlain's vetiver because it is extremely realistic and natural smelling. Guerlain's vetiver is rich, nutty and earthy and has a classic gentleman vibe about it. When compared to Hermès the EDT, which is another cult vetiver fragrance, Guerlain's vetiver is more brash and outspoken, I would say. I personally prefer Terre d'Hermès because it has more finesse and is more modern than Vetiver by Guerlain. However, if you like Vetiver, I do invite you to check out, go to the Guerlain counter because it is a masterpiece of a fragrance. Back to the ladies with Infusion d'Iris by Prada. This is a powdery, soapy, Iris Dream of a Fragrance. This Iris fragrance is fresh smelling, elegant and powdery. Now Prada fragrances have a characteristic luxury soapy note that brings a lot of class and sophistication to their fragrances. If you've smelled Prada Lhomme then you know exactly what I'm talking about because it is front and center in that fragrance but it's also present in other perfumes and L'Infusion d'Iris is no exception to that. It's very feminine and womanly, a lovely fragrance to wear during the springtime, especially paired with a floral dress, just simply beautiful. The downside with this fragrance is that it's not long lasting and it will only project for a few hours. So you really need to overspray like crazy with this scent if you want to enjoy smelling it throughout the day. In my previous video, I spoke about Replica by the Fireplace, but this time round, I want to bring your attention to, of course, Jazz Club, which is another cult classic from the brand, a boozy tobacco. I imagine the prohibition era to smell like this. Think speakeasies, jazz, flapper girls, cigars, 
and an unlimited supply of booze, raging parties and debauchery. Jazz Club is for those of you who like tobacco dominant fragrances with a hint of sweetness. It's super smooth, warm and elegant, perfect for autumn and winter. Performance wise, it lasts all day on my skin and projects moderately. It is not as beast mode as by the fireplace where you literally cannot get rid of the scent, but Jazz Club will do the job and you'll be able to smell it all day. Another amazing designer brand that offers quality fragrances is Hermès, by far one of the best designer brands on the market. I filmed a top picks from the brand, which I'll link down below if you're interested in that. But for today, I will be speaking about Twilly d'Hermès, the Eau de Parfum. It's a modern spicy tuberose that can be a little polarizing, so it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. Tuberose doesn't mean you'll smell like a granny. Get that out of your head right now. In Twilly, it's soapy, definitely, but youthful and modern at the same time. It's complemented by an ultra creamy sandalwood and an unexpected ginger kick. Overall, this fragrance is creamy, extremely floral, and a little spicy. On my skin, it lasts all day, easy, easy eight hours, and the projection is super strong. It's a casual, chic fragrance that you can wear on an everyday basis. It works for the office, but also for daytime use and a fantastic find from Hermes. Onto a woman killer fragrance, Bulgari Man in Black, a must have for date night. If you like Spice Bomb Extreme by Victorin Rolf, or Dolce & Gabbana The One, or Rehab by Inicio, then you need to try Bulgari Man in Black. It's a spicy, boozy scent with rum, tobacco, spices, and tonka bean. It's like the scent of a sexy pirate. You got the booze, the spices, a sense of adventure, and danger. Now this would be a 10 out of 10 scent if it wasn't for a major caveat, the performance. It is infuriating how poor the performance is with this fragrance. On my skin, it lasts between five to six hours with regular fragrance application, and the projection is super soft, so very, very intimate. So why are you recommending this fragrance, Josephine? Because it smells so damn good, and it's so sexy, and I just can't get enough of it. The performance can be improved in the following ways. First, overspray, big time. 15, 20, 30 sprays, you go ham on the trigger. Second, spray it on your skin, but also your clothes because fragrance clings to fabric much better than clothes and therefore will last longer, obviously, on your clothes than on your skin, but also ensures that you'll be smelling it throughout the day. And three, layer it with Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules or some substitute of ISO E Super to really help tether the fragrance onto your skin and clothes. What are your thoughts on Bulgari Man in Black? Do you also experience this terrible performance? Please comment down below. I would love to know your experience with the scent. And finally, we have an affordable little gem, Lalique pour Homme Ecus by Lalique. Now, Lalique isn't technically a designer. It's more of a luxury homeware brand but this fragrance needs to be in this list because it is totally slept on and you need to know about it. L'Anique pour Homme Ecus is a fresh, spicy, woody scent with citrusy nuances. It's kind of an unusual scent that's difficult to pin down. It makes me think of tree trunks, cold crisp air, the warmth of cardamom and tea. Basically a blend of things that's warm and cold at the same time. It's a rounded scent that is calming and grounding. If you like fragrances such as La Nuit de l'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent or Miller Harris's Tea Tonic, you'll probably also enjoy La Nuit pour Homme, the Ecus version. And that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed discovering some of these fragrances. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you've tried or if you have any luxurious smelling niche-like designer fragrances in your collection. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.